So welcome to your 38th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use send keys and send keys is basically, it's used in an auto typer it basically just sends a whole lot of letters and that is typed out in an active text box so that might sound confusing but you'll understand it when you see it so for this what we need is a uh, text box let's drag that out uh, two buttons and a timer so the first button is going to be start and the second one is going to be stop and then timer one we're going to name this to um, auto type timer interval is going to be 1000 milliseconds because that's the same as a second and we're going to leave enable to false since we only want this to start when the start button is pressed so change the text of the form to auto dash typer and double click on the start button so in here all we're going to do is auto type timer dot start like that simple as that that's just going to start the timer and then auto type timer dot stop so obviously that's going to stop the timer so that's all set up now now what we need to do is uh, put some code into this auto type timer and this is the code that's actually going to type out the uh, the writing so all we need to do here is send keys dot send then in brackets we would normally put speech marks and then um, whatever text you want but I'm going to do textbox one dot text since we want it to get the text that's inside textbox one so I'm just going to run this and I've got a notepad document here and here I'm just going to type in hello and we'll press start and double click here well single click here I mean and you see it keeps on repeatedly saying hello every one second but the issue is it's all in one line and there's no spaces in between it so I'll just stop that and minimize that and close that so what we wanted to do is we wanted to virtually press the enter button on the keyboard so to do this we can do send keys dot send and in brackets all we have to do is speech marks then inside here we have curly brackets and then inside there we have enter so that is going to virtually press the enter button and drop it onto a new line so run this again and open notepad I'm just going to delete all this and here I'm going to type in wafting tutorials this time and press start so wafting tutorials and it keeps on repeating it and it's on a separate line and yeah it's a bit more organized now so thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial.